Some of the most striking things you might see if you visit Pompeii today are these bold red and white painted posters called Programmata. They carried announcements relating to forthcoming political elections, which would usually take the form of endorsements for individual candidates. Once the election was over, the posters would be whitewashed, ready for the next round of electioneering. As with other aspects of Pompeian life, the wars tell us a lot about what happened in the city on a daily basis. I'm Dr Joanna Paul, lecturer in classical studies at the Open University, and in this audio we'll be looking at what they reveal about its political life. One of the most notable aspects of this kind of graffiti, or to give it its technical term, dipinti, since these words were painted rather than scratched onto the wall's surface, was the amount of abbreviations that were used, or so that the message could be conveyed as concisely as possible. Look at the small letters at the end of the top row of this sign, which adorns a tavern on Pompey's main street. The Roman numeral for two is followed by the word for man, weir, so this refers to one of the most important political offices in Pompeii, that of the Duumvir. Each year, two men held this office, overseeing a range of civic activities, from council proceedings to financial dealings. Next, you can see the letters DRP, which is a common abbreviation for the phrase Dignum Rei Publicae, meaning worthy of public office. So this poster is telling us that its subject, whoever he may have been, was running for the office of Duumvir and was worthy of our vote. The same abbreviations pop up in this election notice, which was found a little further down the same street. Again, we can see that the candidate is running for Duumvir and that he's worthy of public office. In fact, that endorsement is repeated in the final words, Dignus est. He is worthy. This time, we can also see the candidate's name, Publius Paquius Proculus. It's in the accusative case because it's the object of a main verb wrapped up in another commonly found abbreviation, OVF, here depicted as the little symbol at the end of the second line. OVF stands for Oro Vos Faciatis, which means... I urge, Oro, you, that is, the person on the street, to vote for whoever, in this case, Proculus. We don't know who wrote this poster, but other examples record exactly who is supporting a given candidate. Here, you can see the candidate for Duumvir is Holconius Priscus, and the final words, Felones Universi Rog, tell us who is endorsing him. Rog is an abbreviation for our main verb, standing for rogant, the third-person plural, present active indicative of rogo, meaning I ask, and its subject is felones universi, meaning all the fullers. So, all of Pompey's fullers are asking that you vote for Holconius Priscus for Duumvir. Around Pompeii, there are countless further examples of these kinds of messages all over the walls. Some are easy to spot if you visit the city today, but for others, we rely on the work of archaeologists over the centuries who have deciphered and published them. As you go further in your studies of Roman history and culture and the Latin language, you may study graffiti and other kinds of inscriptions not only from Pompeii but around the Roman world and there is certainly lots to study. So here's one final example. The graffiti writer is addressing the wall on which he writes, the Paries, and he's amazed, ad mirror, that it has not fallen down, known Kekidisse. Why? Because, he says to the wall, you hold up or support, sustineas, the tedious words of so many writers, tot scriptorum tidier. The writer of this little motto, which appears in a number of places in Pompeii, might have found the graffiti tedious. But for us, each snippet of text that we've met gives us a precious glimpse of how Romans lived and how they went about their political business, leisure activities and personal relationships.
If you enjoyed this clip, feel free to follow the links on screen for more interesting articles and free courses from the Open University.